Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Corey. Today we're going to talk about one of the most amazing toolkits that you should have, okay, that you can build. What if I told you that pretty much everything you need that I would have in, in these boxes I could do with the stuff that can fit in this bag right here. Um, this is a truck kit that I use. This, this is my toolkit that stays in my truck all the time. Oh, spare parts rolling around in there too. Um, but uh, this truck kit rides, in, or this tool kit rides in my truck all the time with me everywhere. It has for years. I've done other videos on it as well too. Uh, but today I have taken hours and went through and updated this tool list for you. Made it very easy so it's like a one-stop shopping list for you to get this stuff. And I found uh, high quality yet very affordable versions of these tools. And it ended up being much better than the deal I got when I built this uh, years ago. And like I said, a lot of great options here. So we're going to show you. But again, it's great for your truck. It's great for your boat, for your RV, for your camper, um, for up at your cabin to have uh, in your apartment, in your house if you don't want to walk out to your garage in the wintertime to get it. This little kit will do pretty much everything that you can dream of doing, uh, especially the enhanced version that I have kind of laid out for you, which is actually cheaper than what I have, uh, what I spent on mine. But to show you an example of kind of what we have here, um, first off, I got an assortment of screwdrivers here, okay? You buy these as a kit. I have one links down below for them for you, okay? But uh, you get this assortment of screwdrivers, so you get a little variety in here uh, for different sizes. Yes, it's important to have different lengths and different widths of the width and sizes of screwdrivers. It does matter. You will find that they come in and be pretty important. So it's important to have those screwdrivers. This one is actually a spring puller. I use it because I deal with a lot of snowmobiles and stuff like that too. So it's a screwdriver that I grind and modified and turned into a spring puller for me to be able to pull exhaust springs and stuff. That's why I have that one. Little nut driver, I can put quarter inch sockets. I can take a quarter inch socket like this here and just take one off of this and put it right onto this quarter inch driver and now I got like a quarter inch driver. Again, something simple and easy and it actually came with my screwdriver kit so I didn't have to buy it separately. So um, great little option to have that as well too. Um, you are going to want to have, and again, links down for all this kind of stuff, metric and uh, standard Allen wrenches, okay? Mandatory kind of thing. Um, they come in very handy, use them for all sorts of things. So they, they're gonna be vitally important that you have in there. Wrenches. Um, I have a great set for you that actually comes in a nice roll-up bag in the links below here for you that I will show you. Mine, I just put them on a rope, but it's the same amount as of wrenches as what you see here in these for my standards and the, and the metrics, um, but mine are tied together with a rope that I have to untie when I want to use them. But yours come in a nice bag, and they were actually cheaper than the ones that I got. But having these wrenches... Uh, very important. You're going to want standard and metric wrenches. That is mandatory that you will find that you use both a lot. A um, little wrench like this, you know, not a bad thing to have. Um, mine was a spare that I had laying around, so I threw it in there. Whether you want this or not is kind of irrelevant because you do have the wrenches, the sockets, the other thing, but mine, I do have it, so I throw it in there. Um, I have Electrical tape and I have duct tape now duct tape I also have two full rolls in my truck all the time to ride with this kit So I'm not worried but I do have some extra in here and electrical tape. I leave those in there um, Vice grips are important. Okay. Um, I have a two-pack kit like this for you in there These are both very valuable to have the flat nose and also to have uh, this version so having these uh, Vice grip sets in there you will find that you use these all the time. They are important uh, when I first built my kit, I did not have those in there. Somebody recommended it and I went out and bought them because uh, I didn't think about it. And uh, I went out and bought them and, and I use them now all the time. This kit works on so many different things. I use this tool bag so often it's not even funny. Um, and then same with pliers. I have a pair of side cutters and needle nose pliers. And they came in the same kit that I got for my standard pliers and my channel locks, okay? But having all four of these different sizes are vitally important. They will all come in very handy. You will use every one of them. They, like everything else, fit right in this bag perfectly, just like that. Socket-wise, I have short and, I have short, standard, and metric um, versions of quarter-inch drive. And I have a uh, set of uh, uh, standard American um, deep, what, deep sockets. Now the ones that I, the recommendation I have for you for less than I paid for these also includes a set of deep for metric. So you actually have a set of deep and a set of shallows for both metric and standard in quarter inch drive, which is really, really nice. Um, <clears throat> I have the same for 
uh, my 3 8 drive. I have standard and metrics for the 3 8 drive and deeps in standard and metrics for the 3 8 drive, okay? This kit I got for you, again, has the same kind of thing in there for you. But that, that will pretty much cover most of your normal household needs for sockets. Yes, there are some things on vehicles that could have to go into half inch, things like that kind of stuff, half inch sockets. But again, not very often and we're trying to keep this kit pretty normal and simple. Yours may need some other things tailored to it. Torque set, very important that you have these. So many cars, so many vehicles, so many things in everyday life use these torque sockets. <laughs> that you see right here. They're, they're star head sockets and uh, you I have a set of those for you in there. Those come in incredibly handy. Get used all the time. Hammer wise, because my bag is a little bit smaller, I found this little bitty shorty hammer and it actually works for a lot of stuff but not everything. In my truck I carry a bigger hammer. In your kit your bag is actually one inch bigger and will fit a full size hammer in it. So it will work out great for you. It has a little more room than mine. Again, the kit I built for you is much more advanced than this. Little, little higher quality and updated. Mine, this thing is pushing about six, seven years old that I've been using uh, this particular kit. And I just don't want to spend the money to, to upgrade it myself yet. But uh, for me, this little shorty hammer, it does do a little bit, but not everything. I actually carry a full-size hammer inside my truck as well, too. In here, which if I did it again, I would go with some just bags. This kit, this little box takes up too much space. So in your kit, I actually have a bag in there for you too that you can put this stuff in if you want to. But I have my quarter inch drive ratchet. I have my 3 8 drive ratchet, a couple of extensions for each of those different sizes, uh, and a couple of bits that I don't even know why because I don't even have the bit magnetic or the bit holder in here anymore. I broke it and never replaced it. Um, but this kit is just this little box is too big for this little bit of stuff. It takes up too much room. So I put a bag in there for you that's uh, you know a little pack of bags. It's really nice, simple, and easy. But I do keep that kit in there. That fits right in there as well too. And I have to squish it around a little bit to get it all to fix. I also want to put in my multimeter. Um, I put a test light in there for you or this. These multimeters are dirt cheap. Uh, and it will diagnose things in for your 12 volt systems or your cars and your RVs and your four wheelers and all that stuff. But it will also diagnose problems in your house on uh, your 120 volt systems and things like that. So this is a fantastic thing to have. Uh, they're not expensive. Um, this is actually my third one. I now have one in my truck kit. I have one that stays in my RV kit. It's always in there as well too. And I have one in the house just because sometimes I don't want to come out here to get them. So they're not expensive, but you use them all the time. So they're very, very handy to have um, but that's it right there that's your whole kit folds up in here nice now again my bag is a little getting a little small with that case you can see that case right here is becoming a problem to fit everything into it right um, so I'm, I'm gonna order those bags myself to get that case out of there and put those ratchets in there but basically that all fits right there in that little bag, sweet, simple, and easy, and works like a champ. But there is nothing, I have yet to run into something that I really can't do with the stuff that's in this bag. And I use it all the time because of the fact it's in my truck and it's available. When I go over to uh, a buddy's house or my mom's house, for example, I'm over at my mom's house and uh, we're working on things, they don't have the tools. I can just walk out to the truck, lift the back seat, grab this bag, bring it in, do everything I need to do. If I go out back and I wanna start the lawnmower up that's out there been stored all winter and I can't get it to run, I just grab this bag out of the back of my truck and I can do everything I need to do. Uh, I do have spark plug uh, sockets on there too, uh, which I have included in the kit for you. They are 3 8 drive spark plug sockets in there. They're on my rail. Um, but or working on the trailers or whatever I gotta do. It's just nice to have a kit like this available to you all the time. Um, and if I got to do stuff in the house, I, I don't have a tool kit in the house. We got a drawer with a, a couple screwdrivers and a pair of pliers in it uh, for little stuff. But if I got to do something in the house, instead of coming out here in the garage, grabbing one of these types of tote bins like this right here, filling it full of tools and going through my toolbox and taking everything in I need, I can just simply walk to my truck and grab this bag, walk in the house, set it down and do everything I need to. If I'm working on the furnace, building a piece of furniture, uh, whatever it is, it's just so convenient to have this toolkit. And in the field, having it in a truck, 
countless times, especially with all my days of power sports, with the dirt bikes, four-wheelers, snowmobiles, all the things we did, you're always working on something. Having that with you is amazing. So I'm going to bring you in the computer. I'm going to show you some of this stuff on here real quick so you can see the stuff firsthand so you don't just got to keep clicking through it all to see it. Um, but it's all down here in the description for you. So once I show you these things really quickly on the computer, you'll see that's exactly what's down there below. It's a perfect shopping list to be able to build this kit for yourself, have it all delivered right to you sweet simple turnkey put the sockets on the rails uh, throw the ratchets in one of the bags throw the whole thing in here you are done it is a one-stop turnkey ultimate tool kit for you to have for your house truck RV whatever you want to have so all right let's jump in the computer so I can show you what we got okay now we're here in my computer and I'm going to show you this stuff real quick here's that ratchet set I was talking about Got quarter inch drive and three eighths drive. You can see here the details of what different sizes there are, but it's got uh, extensions. It also has the two spark plug sockets that you see here and here. So it's got everything that you're looking for to cover all your socket needs, including the extensions, uh, metric and standard for both quarter inch and three eighths. So this thing, and again, for a very good price, this is a great setup. I mean, this whole kit is going to cost you about 200 bucks to build for everything that you saw there, which is a steal of a deal for all. All the quality stuff you're getting and what you're going to do with it next thing wrenches here's your metric and your standard combination wrenches on here too again link down below for all of this kind of stuff so you can just click and add it right to cart it's kind of a turnkey setup uh you have your um I don't know why I'm seeing that. There we go. Um, but it is your screwdriver set. So you get the different size heads, the different things that you need. It's all right there for you. Sweet, simple, and easy and affordable. Um, and then this, uh, here's your Allen wrenches right here as well for you. Metric and standard Allen wrenches. So you have both, you know, you're going to need both. You, there's a lot of things that you have to have both for. So that will give you both of the ones you need for a great price on there. Uh, you're going to have your... Um, your wrench kit right here it's going to have all these ones that you're looking for in there so it's got everything you need again very affordable price we're not talking the highest quality but we're talking good quality and going to do everything you need it to and work just fine um vice grips here's that two pack of vice grips i was telling you about great price right there sweet simple and easy we'll do what you need now as far as these here you can go with socket rails if you do you're going to need quarter inch. You're going to need two of these to cover all those sockets. You're you, and you can cut these right in half with a hacksaw if you want, which is what I did. Uh, but you're going to need two of these rails for quarter inch and two of them for three eighths drive uh, in order to hold all the sockets. Or you can instead, if you don't want to do that, go with these bags. This is what I was talking about. You can then put uh, your three eighths standards and your three eighths metrics in there, your ratchets in with it, your extensions, your quarter inch longs, quarter inch metrics, cor you know, and it's you get all six of these bags uh, for eleven ninety nine. So great price, very simple, very easy, very uh, convenient way to organize all that without having to buy. Um, four sets of these rails so it's it's less than half the money and it's a nice compact setup but either way this is the route i went um, but they do work perfect you will need two quarter inch ones and you will need two of the three eighths inch uh, uh, rail holders so uh, four total two quarter two three eighths uh, there's the bags if you want them uh, torque set i told you you're going to need a set of torques these are going to be fantastic this goes all the way up through t50 covers 99 percent of what you need and it's a nice convenient set for a very good price uh, three eighths drive and quarter inch drive so they'll do pretty much everything you need and here we have a circuit tester if you want to just go this route. Uh, it, and it does work okay, 12-volt system, you know, for in your car. I prefer this, and these are what I use. Um, I just bought my I bought my third one, actually, just uh, about two months ago uh, when we got the RV. But uh, very affordable price, you know, 20 bucks, And it just gives you a lot of flexibility and does things in the house and also in the car. And it works like a champ. Uh, so that's what I would recommend. But if you don't want to spend the 20 bucks on there, uh, something like this will let you test all the stuff in your car and work just fine for what you need to do for most of it. Uh, and then this is the bag. This bag is actually a 16 inch versus my 14 inch bag. So it's two inches longer across the bottom and it's going to give you a little bit more room in there. So you don't have to jam everything quite as tight as I have to to fit it in there. Uh, but it's the same exact style bag, same kind of thing. Sweet, simple, and easy. These are going to show you all the tools that you're going to need for this. Uh, this is that whole kit right here. Sweet, simple, and easy setup. 
uh, right down here does everything you need it to do. Only thing you're going to probably have to add is some electrical tape and duct tape if you want to. But other than that, everything else you need is here to work on anything you got to work on. So it's a great system. Um, nothing else out there like this exists. Otherwise, I would have bought something like that years ago. But so I had to make my own uh, to cover all the things I want. This kit, this whole kit, if you buy all these items on here, uh, put them in this bag, it will be the ultimate toolkit for whatever you need it to be. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Links are down below in the description. Click on those and then they'll take you right to these products on Amazon. Add them to your cart and uh, you'll have your perfect toolkit. So uh, thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye.